credit card reward systems are complex enough when you're just dealing with your personal finances. But is there some added complexity when you're dealing with a reward system for a small business? We're going to get into that in today's video. Hi, everybody. I'm Brandon Gustafson. I own and operate two assisted living facilities, and I created this channel to help people just like you learn the ins and outs of investing in assisted living. Welcome to Assisted Living Investing. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In our last video, we talked about how do credit card uh, rewards work? What's that process like? So go ahead and watch that video. I'd love to see your comments over there and uh, get your input on, on your experience working with credit card reward points and, and what you've experienced as you've gone through that process. Today, we're gonna get into credit card rewards for a small business. Um, our, so the big question is, are business points different from personal credit card points? And the simple answer is no, not really. They're, they're really not all that different. Credit card companies, despite all their complexities and, and everything that goes on there, they're not trying to reinvent the system that is already working for them um, with their rewards system um, points. The rewards of a business do seem to be less than some of the perks that you can get with a personal credit card, unless you're willing to pay that premium to get a high reward card. Um, so I've talked about this a little bit in the in the past. Some of these cards, and I'll link that video up above, some of these cards require you to pay an annual fee um, to use their card. And that fee can be anywhere from $100 to $500 a year. It just kind of depends on what they are, what their reward system is. And if you're going to be using and paying for one of those premium cards, you just want to make sure that you are doing your research to make sure um, that it works for you. Um, that you're earning the appropriate amount of points on those purchases, that it's going to offset the, the fee that you are paying on that annual basis. You don't want to get to the point where you're paying $500 a year for a card and um, you're only getting $300 a year in reward points. It just doesn't make a, a lot of sense. So you want to make sure that you are, if you're going to pay for one of those premium cards, make sure that you are going to be able to counterbalance that and make it work for your facility. Just do your research. Make sure that it's worth it to you and, and that it's going to be something that uh, you come out ahead because that's the, the whole point of going through all of this education on credit card points is to make sure that it's going to work for you. Something to keep in mind as, as well as you're looking through these different credit card um, offers and the different types of credit cards that are out there is that there are intro offers. I've not talked about those yet in any of my videos, but an intro offer is in addition to all those extra reward points and miles and cash back that you're getting on your card. Um, they give you what's called an intro offer, which is awesome. An intro offer is basically, it says if you spend X amount of money in the first Y months of having the card, then you will get Z dollars in return. So for example, if you were to spend, let's say that the, the credit card has an intro offer where if you spend $3,000 in the first three months, um, then you could earn $300 in a statement credit or rewards equivalent to $300. Um, it, it all is going to vary as you're looking through and trying to sign up for the, the credit card that you want to work with. Um, just kind of go through and see what they are. Oftentimes you're going to see that example that I gave you. And then they'll say, and if you pay an additional $10,000 in the first six months, we'll give you an extra $6,000 $6, $600 or something like that. Um, so you just kind of want to look through those and see what type of intro offer could you get um, and how can I best take advantage of that. Each card, again, is just going to be different. So just make sure that you do your research on what your intro offer is um, for a particular card and just make sure that, you know, if you're going to use that, that you're going to be able to hit that. It's an offer that's there. You might as well Try to, to hit that offer so you can get that extra cash back, that extra point value, that extra mile value. Uh, it's just another way to incentivize you to use the card. And as long as you're using it appropriately, you might as well take advantage of the programs that they have. So some things that you want to consider as you're kind of looking through the different small business credit cards um, that I would just suggest that you kind of take a look at are um, 
some of these questions you might want to ask yourself. Travel. Are you going to be like me where you need to go and visit a facility out of state and you're going to need to fly or when you get there, you need somewhere to stay or you're, you don't want to take a car, so you need to rent a car or you're going to be taking an Uber or, or something like that. Uh, you want to make sure that if you're going to be doing that, then getting a card that gives you some extra points um, for redeeming um, those points for travel related items is it might be beneficial to you so make sure you take a look at that do you get extra points for shopping at vendors where you're going to be purchasing a lot of stuff from I talked about this in a previous video in assisted living we buy a lot of groceries and so getting somebody that is going to give you extra points for all of the groceries you are going to be purchasing is just going to benefit you so make sure you look into that um, is it worth it to pay that fee for a card make sure you ask yourself that question do the simple math it is not Hard math. I promise you that. I know a lot of you are looking at this. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't do all this math. Um, he's talking about converting points to dollars and I just, uh, my head is about to explode. It's okay. This is simple math. You can do it. It's it's not too hard. Um, comment down below if you need some help with it. It's get on assistedlivinginvesting.net. Uh, set up a consulting call. We can kind of go through this together. Um, just reach out to me if you have any questions with that. I'd love to kind of go through that with you a little bit. Um, the other thing is, you know, what are some of the extra perks? So there are extra perks that I actually have not even talked about and, and touched on in any of my videos. Things like, um, is there transfer financing? So you could transfer a balance, a high balance from an old card to a new card and get a, a better interest rate or an introductory 0% interest rate or something like that. A lot of cards will offer that. And so you want to take a look at, at, at that type of a, an offer. Um, there might be a, just a straight up introductory interest rate. Well, they'll give you 0% interest for the first 18 months. And if you're needing to buy a big thing and you can't get financing from somebody else, you could essentially um, finance that on a credit card. You know, Maybe you've got to buy a, a furnace or something like that. Your furnace goes out, you need to buy it. Um, you get a credit card that has a $10,000 limit on it, has 0% financing for the first 18 months. You basically have financed that at 0% interest for 18 months. And then you can start making in incremental payments on it and get it paid off. And you don't have to worry about that huge $10,000 um, benefit that huge ten thousand dollar purchase. So that's just something that you want to take into consideration as you're looking at credit cards. What other types of perks are there? Um, and the intro offers that we've been talking a little bit about. Just do your research. Remember, if you're good at staying on top of your credit cards, they can be an incredible way for you to make some extra money, save on travel, or even buy gifts for your staff. That's what we've used ours for in the past, buying Christmas gifts. Um, use that cash back. It doesn't come out of our, our budget anymore and saves us a little bit of money. So that's great. And just make sure you take your time to research and find out if a credit card is the answer for you. Um, I've talked about this in a previous video. Um, just make sure you kind of get there. Do the research. If it's right for you, do the research on which card is best for you so you can take advantage of it. Take some time and just figure it out. It doesn't take a lot of time, just a little bit. And if you do that, you're going to find the thing that's going to work for you. So just remember that. In our next video, I'm going to get into how I use a small business credit card for our business. What do we use it for? Um, how it works for us? Uh, kind of explain that because I'm sure you've been thinking to yourself this whole time, how does he do it? Like, what's the process? I know he's out of state, so does his administrator have a card? How do they stay on top of that? We're going to get into that in, in the next video. Um, to learn more about investing in assisted living, make sure you visit me on assistedlivinginvesting.net. I've got a blog, free resources. You can set up a consulting call with me. I'd love to have conversations with you. Um, and also make sure you follow me on my other social media platforms. And remember, it doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. Keep making steps one at a time. You will be successful if you are consistent. Just keep making progress. I promise you will be successful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.